Please come, Kunal. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please take, take the seat. Please take the seat. So, Kunal, let's have your introduction, very brief. Sir, uh, sir my name is Kunal Rastogi. I was born in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, but brought up in Agartala, Tripura. After that, I did my graduation in Brits Pilani, Pilani campus from civil engineering in 2021. Post that, sir, I have been trying to convert my dream into reality, that is of becoming a civil servant. But also, I was employed as a physics educator in Topper Education Unit. That is my dream. Good. So, talking about your dream. Sir. So, how, uh, how you think... Uh, uh, you know, your your dream was is so strong. You know that that you would overcome, or maybe you would ignore your original uh, desire to be a technocrat, or was it just a stepping stone? So why why civil services? So from my childhood, my dadaji always used to recite a poem to me. With your permission, can I? Not necessary. You can Sir. go ahead. Uh, Sir, uh, from my childhood, I've always been inculcated with the fact that service to others is something that I deeply cherish. And in that regard, sir, I think civil services provides me with the resources, authority, as well as the platform with which I can contribute, not only in policy formulation, but as well as policy implementation. And so that, that's why sir, I want to become a civil servant. So you have, uh, you are hopping between Northeast and Rajasthan. Sir. Hmm? Uh, yes, sir. So, can you cite some similarities uh, between Rajasthan and uh, Northeast? Sir, first of all, sir, I think it is the local population. In both the places, sir, being uh, I've seen being a civil engineer, there is a remarkable similarity where by the people use the local resources in manufacturing or building construction. For example, sir, in Tripura, Bamboo is used because it is locally grown. In the same manner in Rajasthan, sir, stone based architecture is quite used. And that goes for the food as well, sir. Second, sir, I think uh, the people over there have a accepting culture whereby they open their arms and allow people from different communities to come there and merge with their psyche and subconscious mind. And mm -hmm. so I think this is the second similarity. And third, sir, I think it is the uh, zeal to perform well for the, uh, that is ingrained within the population of both the places whereby they want a better education for themselves so that they can contribute in many fold ways. Kudal, as I see from your DAF, you sir. have done a lot of work on water resource management. Yes, sir. Right? So, and groundwater also. Now, you've been in Rajasthan, groundwater situation is very bad. Uh, maybe in Tripura, if you become DM or even Rajasthan. Now, Suppose your district faces a drought, massive drought. Sir. Now, with your knowledge and experience of water resource management, how would you deal as a district magistrate of uh, the district where you are? Sir, so can I take a few seconds? Please. Sir, uh, if uh, with all my experience, a little bit experience that I have, so the primary thing that I saw was water wastage. If, in, if there is ample amount of water, people waste it too much. And as a district magistrate, sir, my first action would be to implement a policy whereby water regulation and water conservation with regards to wastage is taken a priority. Second, sir, I think local resources must be utilized and leveraged for water conservation mechanism. For example, sir, where I when uh, uh, Kunal, I am intervening. Sir. You are giving me long term solutions. Yes, sir. By that time, your cattle, your people would have migrated from to other districts for want of water. Sir. What do you do immediately? There's a drought. No water to drink. Uh, sir, with regards to Rajasthan, I think groundwater can be again a boon for us. The groundwater level in Rajasthan, in particularly the eastern... Uh, what else? Uh, second, sir, I think harvesting. Water harvesting is another method which could be utilized. And third, sir, I think technology inter intervention. So, for example, if you are in the winter months, there is a technology called fog basking, whereby okay. people... Okay, so I go on to the next, your uh, strong uh, liking for Asian geopolitics. Sir. Do you think of late, with the last, say, five, six months, 
after G20, uh, China has become less, uh, uh, you know, I would say aggressive uh, in its uh, efforts and in its, you know, uh, activities to, to tease India and to irritate India. Do you think it is correct? And why? Uh, sir, it is true that uh, China has also undertaken uh, se uh, several border interactions within the military commanders to solve the Galwan Valley issue. And the primary reason be uh, behind it is it has seen that uh, India has been a vocal supporter and a leader as well in the global south. So if, in, if China needs to ingress upon that, it has to showcase itself that it is a benevolent power and for that so it is trying to mend its relation with uh, India. So that could be a, a reason sir for this change of stance. Hmm. Thank you sir. Uh, Kunal, you know in your def you have also talked about that you are the best speaker on global terrorism. Sir. That's very good. Uh, can you can you tell me what is the definition uh, by the United Nations about terrorism? Is there any definition of terrorism by United Nations? Approved definition? Unfortunately, sir, there has not been a consensus yet that has been generated regarding a global definition. Okay. Uh, recently, in our laws, sir. India has tried to define terrorism. Sir. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. Where it has been defined, terrorism? Uh, so, in the recently passed Bharatiya Nyaya Sanita, uh, terrorism has been included in, as an offence, whereby uh, it is the usage of violence, indiscriminate violence against innocent civilians to strike fear, to get a political objective out of that. Okay. Now, what is the difference between Raj Droh and Desh Droh? What is the difference between these two terms? Sir, can I take a moment to... <laughs> Sir, Rajdro basically means anti against the government of the day, whereas Rajdro means an anti-national stand that uh, stands against what our nation belong, uh, represents or our country belongs to. So that is the major difference, sir. State versus government. Which one is government? Uh, Raj... Deshdro is state. State. And Rajdro is government. Okay. Um, do you think that uh, this Hamas? Whether India has recognized it as a terrorist organization? Sir, as of now, uh, Hamas has not been recognized as a terrorist organization by India. What could be the reason? Sir, there are multiple reasons. Mm -hmm. if, we look at uh, if we look at it geopolitically, India has some important ties in the Middle East. And naming Hamas as a terrorist may be uh, going against that. Because Middle East is a crucial supplier for our oil. Secondly, sir, the domestic politics is also there, whereby we have always promoted a two-state solution and Hamas in that regard can be a crucial uh, proponent of it. So, if we, for example, declare Hamas as a terrorist organization, our domestic politics can is not conducive for that. Sir. But the Israel has declared uh, Jamaat ud dawa or uh, LET as a terrorist organization. Uh, they yes. have declared it. Yes, sir. They have recently declared. So they definitely, they will be. They will definitely expect that India should declare Hamas as a terrorist organization. Uh, so their expectation is there, hmm. but India will always act with strategic autonomy and looking after its national interest. Hmm. Currently, sir, looking at the geopolitics of the entire globe, it is uh, it is ex uh, it is seen that in uh, declaring Hamas may result in anti uh, in forces which are not conducive for India when it goes forward. For example, the domestic politics, the Middle East, as well as other spheres. So, but but against Hamas, I think the Saudi Arabia, the most important country in the Middle East, sir, UAE, sir, and other important countries, they are also not very well, good well wishers of Hamas. They don't like Hamas at all. So why India should bother so much about Hamas that it is not declaring it as a terrorist organization? So I think it is from the national security point of view. Uh, declaring Hamas may redirect their attention of Islamic Jihad towards India. So, looking into that perspective as well, perhaps India is a bit hesitant in declaring Hamas as a terrorist. Uh, Kunal, in, uh, in Southeast Asia, Sir. recently India has 
try to leapfrog its relationship with Taiwan in certain aspects. Sir. Do you know? They, do you, are you aware of it? What are those things? Uh, so the first thing that comes to mind is the semiconductor industry, mm -hmm. where TSMC, the Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturing company, is perhaps the largest in the world and India is looking for it to shift its operation, particularly the manufacturing outlook to India. And that's why India is trying to uh, quote it and come to India. My last question is, what is the offensive defense theory? Uh, sir, it was earlier said that offense is best defense. So, in offensive defensive theory, sir, a proactive military tries to eliminate potential terrorists before it even takes place. Like the Balakot air strike that was done by India, it tried to eliminate potential terrorists which could have uh, passed through the borders, our security measures, and uh, uh, destroy a lot of population that was living there. So, that is offensive defense. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Kunal, recently Supreme Court said yeah. that uh, there is no concept of internal sovereignty. Sir. In what context it said? What is the, what do you mean by internal sovereignty? Was it existing till now? Uh, so recently, uh, the Supreme Court uh, was hearing petitions regarding the Jammu and Kashmir abrogation of Article 370. In that regard, sir, the Honorable Supreme Court held that no, after the instrument of accession that was signed, the internal sovereignty of all the princely states was dissolved and a national sovereignty was born. Since our sovereignty means the absolute power of an authority to make laws and implement them, it, mean, it meant that there is only one sovereignty in India and that is practiced by the constitution of India. What, what, what they mean by asymmetric federalism? The court also said it is in India we have asymmetric federalism. Sir. By that what they mean? Sir, uh, since India is a country, a diverse country, having a composite culture, the constitutional forefathers thought that it was not prudent to give each and every section of the society the same rights because some of them had some cultural uh, What is horizontal and vertical asymmetry? Uh, I sir, think there are two concepts Yes, since sir. you are a student of political science. Sir. What do you mean by asymmetric uh, horizontal asymmetry? and vertical asymmetry insofar as uh, federalism is concerned. Uh, so the vertical asymmetry governs the relation between the union and its states. For example, Article 371A which gives to Nagaland, 371C which gives to Manipur certain specific rights. Whereas horizontal asymmetry means that all the states that are existing, they are also not the same. For example, the special category status that has been provided to certain states. So that is the uh, Kunal, recently Supreme Court plugged one of the loopholes insofar as Article 200 is concerned with discretion with the governor. But still one more area is left, which is a bone of contention between some of the state and the governors on the other hand. Sir. Can you just elaborate what, what, in what, what is that uh, the loophole which the Supreme Court recently plugged in a case emanating from Punjab? Oh, sorry, sir, I am not mm -hmm. aware. You worked as a financial analyst. Sir. Mm -hmm. The current uh, stock market, uh, Nifty, is roaming around uh, 21,000 plus. Sir. Is it a bubble or with substance? Is it reflecting the economy or uh, uh, is it a bubble going to bust any time? Sir, looking at the current market, which is the fourth, la fifth largest in the world with the 4 trillion market capitalization. It is primarily due to the fact, sir, that India has been seen as a robust economy and a global and an engine for global growth. So the FDI, sir, the FII's, foreign portfolio investments and foreign institutional investors have poured in more than 157,000 crore rupees in the Indian market. It is due to the fact that India is growing as well as the fact that there is a liquidity uh, surplus in the uh, United States of America, where the Fed has recently tried to cut its repo rate. So, both the things when interlinked together show that it is not a bubble. But, but the kind of FNO market in India is nowhere you can't see a small, with small money, people are buying options, sir. put options and call options. What is call put? Since uh, you worked in derivative segment, sir. 
why it is call put are called as derivative instruments sir derivative instruments are instruments which derive their value from an underlying asset so a call option is basically a option that a particular investor buys to hedge his position so it means that it has the ability to buy a particular stock at a particular price at a future date whereas a put option sir we can sell the particular stock at a particular price at a particular date what is the role of uh, inwit in an economy what do you mean by inwit sir inwits are uh, tools for infrastructure investment sir so basically it means that a fund of funds is established whereby people try to pour money into it and that inwit is then invested in some uh, infrastructure projects which have not been uh, completed similar is rit sir real estate investment trusts infrastructure trusts so this is basically there to uh, channelize the money the idle money into the infrastructure sectors what is the distinction between bond and mutual fund and equity shares sir a bond is a debt instrument whereby particularly a nation state or a country tries to raise money sir mutual fund is a pooling option whereby many uh, investors pool in a money and then they invest it could be passive or active and so the third one is regarding equity it means a share that a particular investor becomes a part of the company by investing a particular amount now whenever the company profits or the share rises its price the equity investor uh, benefits from that thank you sir so <coughs> kunal uh, you <coughs> are presently working in edtech industry also uh, no sir okay so I you were work working yes sir okay you were working okay so uh, how do you see the future of edtech industry and why uh, there has been a fall in edtech industry <coughs> second attic yes so the future prospects and uh, the growth prospects of the edtech industry is enormous it is often termed as a sunrise sector because of the huge population that india has which uh, more than 35 crore children are present and so they need education and the edtech sector can bridge the gap between state and the coming to the recent decline sir a few companies a few startups have uh, eroded their wealth uh, particularly sir byju's and it was because of the negative perception that the parents had whereby some of the startups were using predatory policies and this has reduced their confidence in the investors and the parents okay. uh, and you are also a civil engineer uh, right? yes sir okay. so recently there was a tunnel collapse in uttarkashi district of uttarakhand Sir. So, uh, can you highlight the potential causes for the same? So, first is the geological cause. The building was made upon uh, loose rubbles, and it was not uh, because Malin is a young full mountain, so rocks are not consolidated. Firstly, secondly, sir, seepage of water into the cracks, which resulted in shear along the walls, and sir, thirdly, because of the techniques that were used where reinforcement was not done at that uh, particular time this resulted in the tunnel collapse okay uh, you won first prize in uh, cosmos astro quiz yes and you are also interested in interested in science fiction movies so tell me the relationship between astronomy and astrology sir astronomy basically refers to study of stars so uh, the zodiac signs or the constellations that are formed that is called astronomy so when that when people try to interpret that astronomy into our daily lives as to how the zodiac signs can result or change of fortune that is called as astrology sir. okay uh, my last question should there be age limit for politicians give reasons Yes, sir. I think there should be a age limit for politicians. Firstly, sir, competency. As the age progresses, sir, there are reports that the mental faculty starts to reduce a bit. So, as for civil servants, there should be a cap for politicians as well. Secondly, sir, fresh ideas. I think that when the younger generation comes, they understand what the young people want, and they could better portray the democracy in that manner. Thirdly, sir, I think. with uh, or as generate uh, with the changing dynamics or demographic dividend for uh, the younger generation when coming into politics can also result in employment and such sort of things 
So these three things combined together. So in your opinion, what should be the age limit? Uh, sir, I think I am not competent enough to answer in a democracy, proper consensus should be built before we reach to such a sensitive uh, information. Sir. Okay. So, thank you Kunal. I sir. pass on to Chairman sir. sir. So, Kunal, uh, before uh, we close uh, the interview, uh, the last question could be your choice from the subject that you would choose. Is there anything that you would like me to ask from any subject of your, of your uh, uh, preference? So, being an edu educator and NSS teacher, I would uh, love to answer some questions about education sector. Education sector. So, how far you think India's education policy has been uh, has been implemented successfully in the last say two years? So, there have been strides that have been made uh, with respect to the education policy. Uh, recently, sir, UGC had announced that uh, foreign institutions could be set up in India. Recently, Deakin University of Australia has been set up in the gift city. Secondly, sir, uh, the vocational education is being uh, propagated in many fold areas. Thirdly, sir, infrastructure in school has also been trying to be improved. For example, the PM Shri schools or the Eklavya model residential. What is this one nation, one student ID? Sir, so, uh, so the government has recently tried to form a universal ID for each and every student which could ensure that all the mark sheets and all the biometric data could be uploaded at a single center. And so the problem of fake mark sheets and all can be successfully reduced. Alright. So thank you Kunal. Uh, you may proceed to the next room. We will call you in 2-3 minutes for the feedback. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, Kunal, your interview is on second. Sir. Uh, you are the inaugural batch. Yes, yes sir. Uh, but uh, you are quite prepared, uh, Kunal. Sir. You are quite prepared. You are very bright. Thank you, sir. And uh, a few things need improvement. Is this your first mock interview? Uh, second, sir. Second. So, uh, you may not need too many mock interviews. Sir, uh, because the time is also very short, but I am not ruling it out. You know, you can, if you think that your confidence level has not gone up still, you could try another one or two more, but spend more time on uh, uh, creating some depth in your knowledge, sir, and particularly your DAF areas. You know? Okay, sir. Starting with the the, you started off very wrongly, I would say, sir. Uh, if I am, you know, crudely, I am saying. Uh, but don't get upset about it because most of the you know aspirants, the candidates, they do that. You know, the first one question about why IS is going to be asked in some or the other manner. Maybe few may miss uh, you know this question, but most of them. So you have to be very well prepared. And I would su rather suggest last year also we suggested that you know you should write down why IS is doing it, sir. You know, and and. Make it a balanced kind of expression, you know, which uh, which is generally, you know, which uh, is, is not just rational. Don't be emotional about it. Okay, right? sir. You started with Dadaji. Yes, sir. I like the word that you when you said I dreamt. I my it was my dream, sir. So, but the dream converted into Dadaji, sir. So it was your dream, not Dadaji's dream, sir. So your dream should have been restricted only to your passion, your resolution, your strong will, sir. You know, your aim, your target to be an IS officer. You and you stick to that, sir. And don't bring childhood. Childhood me aap kitra ko childhood hum can't define childhood in the interview. Nobody aye aye karna sir. Briefing chal rahi hai aye aye. So avoid this word childhood, sir. You see, I had a strong inclination. I was passionate. I had dreamt. I used it was my dream when I, you know, grew up, sir, and got into my college and school and all. That is sir. the time when you start thinking about your career. Okay, it looks sir. more practical also. Okay, sir. Don't be. Don't go overboard on emotions. Ki nahi, main itna zada passion dikha dhu. That's one. Don't bring any. Neither your grandfather, nor your father, nor your mother. Just keep your home away. Okay, sir. And keep your. You 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 keep your.
the reasons which you gave i'll give authority you, you you said public services but you did not sort of choose the right words for help for making you know giving services to the people you said authority sir use this don't use this word authority okay sir theek hai and isko aap agar if i were you i would have i would have said he said it has always been my dream ever since i you know came into my uh, matriculation or you know in, in late in the school and college and uh, uh, i i i am passionate about civil services because it gives you a very wide canvas you know of uh, serving the people okay sir right and uh, you don't have to mention everyone knows it it has authority why do you have to specify sure sir public services then i can reach out to a large number of people you know through this platform sir it is good for my career career prospects are high <laughs> my career satisfaction i will uh, i hope i will derive lot of career satisfaction and it will you know like my personality you know would also uh, is 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 more suited towards you know doing taking this kind of career वगैरह तो करियर में प्रोस्पेक्ट्स भी बोल दीजिए और जॉब मत बोलना सर्विसेज आप हमेशा यूज करियर इसको सो रीफ्रेम योर सेट आई वी वी यूज्ड टू एडवाइस ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स लास्ट ईयर दिस इज आल्सो आवर फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू राउंड तो उसको फ्रेम कर लो पांच सात लाइन का उसको लिख लो ठीक है सर सो दैट वॉट बी एक ही तो आंसर देना वो घूम फिर के कैसे भी दे देखें से वाई नॉट टेक्नोक्रेट एंड वाई दिस so techno is that means technocrat is not good no sir it offers a but the opportunities that we get as a bureaucrat and you can use your technical knowledge also yes, to civil services and you came to say implementation and uh, you know policy to talk about policy straight away okay bahut zyada aisa lagta hai ki abhi se aap secretary to government of india to yahan baithe log sochte hain ye abhi 35 saal 30 saal baad jo banega wo aaj dream kar raha hai ठीक है सर तो सबसे पहले तो पब्लिक को सर्व करो बाय बीइंग कलेक्टर एंड एसडीएम एंड ऑल सर ऐसा यंग माइंड में ये चीज ज्यादा ख्याल आती है ठीक है ठीक है ना आपको मैं पॉलिसीज बनाऊंगा मैं लॉ को इंप्लीमेंट करूंगा वो बहुत ज्यादा हाई लगता है फॉर अ यंग माइंड ओके सर दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड एंड बाकी इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज लेट मी नो श्योर सर हम्म हम्म नहीं है जब तक आप सोचो हाँ सर अदर मेंबर्स विल यस कुनाल यू आर वेरी गुड कैंडिडेट यू आर डन वेरी वेल यू आर मोरल्स रेडी फॉर योर इंटरव्यू माय ओनली सजेशन वुड बी गो थ्रू दी न्यूज़पेपर्स टू थ्री न्यूज़पेपर्स दैट इज क्वाइट नेचुरल एंड यूज़फुल एंड अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट यू पी एफ सर ओ in the interview board okay sir whether lucknow whether ram mandir whether mathura or whatever okay sir. so give have some concentration on up and newspapers right yeah, yes and sir. you will do very well thank you sir uh, kunal while i was not present during sir. most of your session i just want to tell you two things keep in your mind what is success to you all right it's very important to know how will you tackle success and how will you handle failures sir all right so i would have probably quizzed you on this but okay, you should sir. be very clear how are you going to face life with success and failure all sir. right rest all chairperson has already told you sir kafi aapne questions federalism pe sovereignty pe aur uh, options kafi cheez bataya hai जो एक सवाल है जो आपको आना चाहिए था वो है आर्टिकल 200 जो अभी रिसेंटली हुआ था हाँ सर तो उन्होंने ये कहा है कि गवर्नर के नॉट विथ होल्ड टू ए बिल फॉर अनरीजनेबल पीरियड सेंड इट बैक टू द लेजिस्लेचर अल्टीमेटली इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द लेजिस्लेचर सर सो दैट एरिया दे हैव ब्लॉक्ट बट द एरिया विच रिमेन दिस द बिल विच ही कैन रेफर इट टू प्रेजिडेंट फॉर इज कंसिडरेशन वो लिमिटेड एरिया है बट एज ऑफ नाउ इट अपियर्स देर इज लिटिल बिट ऑफ एम्बिगुटी 
वो एरिया अभी लेफ्ट ओवर है विच प्रोबेबली ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम होगा अभी एक जो ठीक हुआ है वो विद इन रीजनेबल पीरियड द गवर्नर इज सपोज टू सेंड इट बैक ई कॉन्ट हैव अ पावर ऑफ वीटो विद होल्ड इट फॉर अ इनडेफिनेट टाइम वो उन्होंने ठीक कर दिया है ये पंजाब वाले केस पे ठीक है ये एक एरिया था वो आर्टिकल 200 का प्रोवाइजो को मेन पार्ट से उन्होंने लिंक किया है ठीक है सर देख लो बहुत सारे इस पे राइट अप मिलेंगे आपको सो आई रीड अबाउट इट सर सो कुनाल सेम ओपिनियन हियर यू आर रेडी फॉर द इंटरव्यू बस अब प्रैक्टिस कीजिए बाकी ओवरऑल पर्सनालिटी वाइज कंटेंट वाइज कम्युनिकेशन कॉन्फिडेंस आपका सब अच्छा है है ना सो स्माइल भी आपकी अच्छी है सो जस्ट आप प्रैक्टिस कीजिए और आपको इन माय ओपिनियन ज्यादा मॉक्स देने की जरूरत नहीं है एक आधा आप दे देंगे तो चलेगा बिकॉज यू आर रेडी बस कंटेंट को एनरेज कीजिए और जहां पे आप थोड़ा सा लैक कर रहे थे कंटेंट में वहां पे ट्राई कीजिए पॉइंट वाइज चले जाइए फर्स्टली सेकेंडली थर्डली सर बाकी ओवरऑल यू आर गुड सो ऑल द बेस्ट आई पास ऑफ दू चेयरमैन सर कुराल एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर साइड सर रिगार्डिंग द चाइना क्वेश्चन सर चाइना का क्वेश्चन चाइना वाला सर उसका सो यू सी आई गेव दिस जी ट्वेंटी एज अंट so you capitalize on that that was good but that was not the only reason yes sir uh, you know you stuck to that most of the time right sir. china's economy is in shambles mm. china has had another round of covid in whatever name you call it. sir right and of course india's rising you know as a global power thanks to g20 okay sir. is uh, also a reason sir so and uh, Indian economy, China is the only economy which is going down. Sir, US has improved. They are not. They are no longer dreading a recession. Right, sir. Right? And uh, most of the European countries are also not dreading a recession. But sir. China is. Yes, sir. So, just के घर की हालत खराब हो. Same is with Pakistan. The economy has broken their backbone. Right. So that is a very major factor. Internal reasons. ओके okay, सर उनके अंदर की प्रॉब्लम्स क्या है पार्टी की उसको अपन को जिक्र नहीं करना है मे बी इज नॉट फीलिंग एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज ही यूज्ड टू बी अर्लियर सर बट दीज आर द मेन रीजंस दैट वाज एनी अदर क्वेश्चन नो सर बट यू शुड रीड जियोपॉलिटिक्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर एशियन कंट्रीज यू शुड बी थोरो इन एवरीथिंग यू नो ओके सर इंडिया यूएस इंडिया कनाडा राइट यस सर व्हाटएवर यू आर Our stand on Hamas, Israel, okay, especially sir. the dual stand. First, we said Israel very good. We are with you, and then we thought, oh, Palestine is also our friend. Yes, sir. So then you sort of changed, not changed exactly, but then you sent good feelers to the to Palestine also. But then Hamas thing is totally different. So you have to be very tactical about our stand on Hamas. Okay, sir. And PM has been taking stand from time to time. on the basis of events which are happening there yes right sir. hospital pe attack hua to they condemned it's a humanitarian right so sir. humanitarian hai hamas ke sath right sir. but otherwise issue we hain ki we don't support terrorism right sir. since you have done global terrorism also okay sir read about it sir. any other question uh, no sir so kunal you will do well sir. i uh, don't think uh, those five six days ka jo gap hai wo aapke liye hurdle hoga सर गो विद लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस थोड़ा प्रेशर कर लो अपने करंट अफेयर्स को और अपनी नॉलेज को डेप के वाले ठीक यू डू वेरी वेल वी हैव गिवन यू 67% ओके सर एंड आई डोंट हैव टू मेंशन दैट 67 इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट यू नो मार्क्स बट विद ऑल दीस इंप्रूवमेंट्स इफ यू डू यू आर प्लस 70% सर कैंडिडेट सो आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट